Have you ever heard of the Blue Bear Overdrive by Vex Audio? I bet you haven't. We're going to fix that for you today, right here on Geargasms. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today I have yet another pedal that my buddy Nate Heltman arranged to have sent to me. This is from a company called Vex Audio and I'll have links in the description. It's an overdrive pedal. Really simple pedal, really nice switch, a good feeling case, feels sturdy, nine bolt little dingy hole in the back. You plug your guitar dingers into there and there, good to go. If you're new to the channel, please like or subscribe. It's kind of amateurish, but I mean, well, full disclaimer, I got this pedal for free, and you all should know by now, I like getting things for free, and what do I do when I get things for free? Very often, I'm like, yeah, it was for free. Mm, mm. It was free. Mm, free. Yeah. Got it for free. I don't know why it is that we men, when we feel triumphant, we feel like we need to thrust our hips forward, some sort of a forced impregnation pantomime move that we just instinctively do. It's like, yeah, oh, take that. Aww. Seems kind of aggressive. All right, I chose the Les Paul for this with the Fender Blues Jr. for a couple of reasons. I don't like this combination, number one. Number two, this Les Paul has coil splitting so we can do some single coil and double coil stuff because I generally tend to feel like overdrives work better with single coil. I feel that way about fuzz too. Distortion, like it better on the humbucker. So let's play. I'll give you the cleanest, most antiseptic Fender D you've ever had in your life. That's bridge pickup humbucker. Let's come in. We're going to come in kind of neutral here. Just a little bit of ump. Let's see what we get. Just a little bit of grit. Let's try the single coil. Double. Right away. Right away. <laughs> All righty. Let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's put it through the clean boost test. Crank it all the way up, the distortion almost all the way down. Now, if you don't know the clean boost trick is if you got a clean amp and you just want to give it a little umph, or if you have a distorted amp that you wanted to give just a little bit of umph, you can punch it with a clean boost. No gain-ish to speak of. We'll give it just a little bit. I'd show you that with a dirtier amp, but I ain't got time for all of that. Let's go back to a normal kind of level and let's give it our first little taste of real gain. We'll start at 9 in the AM. Yeah, single coils are this particular pedal's friend. So we got her there. We'll give you the AB comparison again. C clean to dirty. Now you notice that was pretty subtle. That's kind of where you want it to be. I have a feeling this is going to sound good. Middle position, bolt single coil. Double coil. It's nice. All right, so let's start moving up the gain. I'll show you the, the neck pickup too. Single coil. Oh, 
that sounds so good. So good. So let's jam it up. 10 o'clock. We'll go one notch at a time. Our point of reference would be to see here, bridge pickup. Now, if your ears are telling you it's bringing a little high end in along with it, your ears are good, because that's what I hear too. I like it with both. I like it with single coil and double. Let's go all the way up to 11. Woo, I like that. So many good gooey tones to choose from around this spot. I think I found the sweet spot. <laughs> a single coil I was looking for. All right, we're going to push it over into just a little bit more gain. I can't wait. In case we needed a little reminder, this would be clean. See, it's just a little crunch there. Again, I want to point out it's an overdrive, not a distortion. I don't have as much experience with overdrives because when I was younger, I never wanted to go halfway. I wanted to go all the way, either clean or distorted. None of that metal bull crap. Now, as I'm older, I like the middle. <laughs> that was single coil. How does it sound with the neck? Just a little humbucker, so you just want to play something mellow and leady. A little single coil neck. Let's crank it up. Let's go to one o'clock. One o'clock. How do you miss a bar chord slide? A little better. So we're up to one o'clock, one o'clock. You hear it's really starting to get noticeably crunchy right now. Like that, let's go to two. Let's just give it the, oh, you can hear that coming up. Let's go to three. Single coil. A lot more, I don't know what. So let's go all the way, why not? The jury's in, jury's kind of in with me, single coils. Let's 
just give you some sweet, sweet neck pickup. <laughs> Pinch harmonics, si senor. All right, that was a bunch of enough amateurish noise. Let's hear the tone controls. I haven't really farted too much with that. I hear lots and lots of treble in there. That's a lot for me still. Let's take that back to 10 o'clock. All the way down. That's actually surprisingly still musical. Let's go razor sharp. Do you do that when you sneeze? So that's a pretty good sweep of the old treble. No bass, all treble. I sorry, I sorry. Treble midway, no bass. Let's give it some fat. What did we learn today? We learned that this overdrive, like most overdrives, this here blue bear. It sounds better with single coils than it does with hot and heavy humbuckers. I don't know why, it just does. We also learned that the Blue Bear, like a lot of other overdrive pedals and distortion pedals in general, really can be used as a great clean boost. <laughs> what we didn't learn is what this overdrive can do into an already dirty amp. But come on, guys. There's a million videos out there like that already. And are you really trying to tell me you can hear the difference? Oh, I can hear when he kicks in this pedal. If you're on some raging angle fireball with the gain maxed and you step on a clean boost in your YouTube video, do you really expect us to hear it? We're not gonna. So I don't wanna waste your time. As always, a thank you for your time. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You can follow Geargasms on the Facebook. You can follow Geargasms on the Instagram. You can follow Geargasms on the Twitter. It's Geargasms in all three places. You can buy a t-shirt if you'd like. Got a brand new design. Doesn't look fucking cool. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Brett Michaels about it. Because he's just going to show up with that one piece thing he wears on his head. It's the cowboy hat hooked to the bandana, hooked to the fake hair. You know it's one piece. If he pulled his hat up to tip it to a lady, the whole thing's coming up with it. Brett, we know it's fake. Dude, how do you water ski? Do you wear that when you fuck? But play more guitar, watch less YouTube, and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasm.